Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a bombshell of a report that I wanna share with you, and that is this. A lot of the times when we look through news and information, you only get one piece of the story. What I wanna to do today is kind of merge a ton of things together to give you the overall idea of what is really going down. Now we know the United Nations is having their uh, 72nd General Assembly right now. Donald Trump took there and uh, said a few things earlier as well, uh, but in light of that, that and in light of the agenda that they want to push a one world currency and a new world order, I have a ton of things that I want to show you. Uh, for starters, um, I want to just say we all know that the new world order is something they want to implement, but I want to show you how real it all is using actual factual documentation. So I encourage you, share this report far and wide. All right, so with that, let me take you back first to 1988, uh, The Economist magazine, or it's The Economist cover of their magazine. I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna go forward, but I'm gonna toss that up on the screen. And as you can see here, it says, get ready for a world currency. Now this magazine, even though it's uh, back from 1988, it predicts that by the year 2018, that's next year for us, that we're gonna have this world currency, this new world order. Uh, but you can see the rise of the Phoenix magazine predicts the collapse and the new world order currency by 2018. Now fast forward uh, now to the 2017 Economist magazine cover. These are all pieces of the pie. And the reason that I wanna share these is because the Economist is a, what I think is more of an Illuminati style or the globalist organization. That's where their bent is. So I pay attention to certain things so we can follow the trail of what these people are doing. So here's the one from 2017, uh, the new Economist cover there. Uh, but it says the world in 2017, and you can see it has tarot cards on the front, uh, which is completely satanic in and of itself. But it has everything from the Donald Trump card of judgment, the tower split into a lot of people note the communism flag on one side and the Christian flag on the other. That could be a battle between the two. Uh, death, obviously that could mean a number of things from war to nuclear war to tensions with North Korea, lots of things on the table. We have the world, I believe that could represent some form of the new world order. The hermit, um, many believe that's marching towards the globalist goal. The magician can stand for dominance, the wheel of fortune, illusion of choice uh, of pic pictures there. You can see the three different people character on the wheel, illusion of a choice that you actually have when you don't, that would be uh, those pulling the strings. Uh, the star can also have multiple meanings and I know people were up in the air on what that meant, but peace, equilibrium after destruction. Now that was the one from 2017. Uh, I'm very curious what the following year holds considering we have the prediction from 1988 I, uh, cover back a long time ago. Now, with that in mind, uh, I wanna jump you ahead to a report that I put out just about a week ago with the Rothschilds. On the screen, what you see is a report from Lord Rothschilds, which we know he is a globalist, he is a banker, he is one of the in on the in crowds. And in this half yearly report that he just put out, he details a plan to pull his money out of the United States of America. He wants to start moving it from America and anytime that that kind of thing happens, we have to put pin our ears up because that will affect this economy uh, economically and also impact like a, a world currency or new world order these types of things now on a little bit further down in this report he says this just so you don't have to take my word for it but the US dollar following its decline after the Brexit vote, uh, this is referencing the, the US dollar. As of now, our currency holdings are spread mainly between sterling, the dollar, and the euro. We do not believe this is an appropriate time to add to that risk, to add to any of, of the risk with the US dollar, Brexit, and all that. Sharing prices have in many cases risen to unprecedented levels at a time when economic growth is by no means assured. All right, then he goes on a little further in the report and says, the period of monetary accommodation may well be coming to an end. Geopolitical problems remain widespread and are proving increasingly difficult to resolve. Uh, but this report basically details he's taking money out of the US of A uh, and causing a little more stress in our economy, if you will. But he can take it and go as far as I'm concerned because I don't like any 
anything to deal with him. Now, knowing those three things, let's move on a little further. Now, here's a report by mainstream media site, uh, CNBC.com, and this was put out in May 2017, and it's titled, $25 oil is coming and a new world order along with it, the think tank says. So this report goes on to detail that the world as we know it will no longer be. The balance of power on a global scale will shift all within the next decade. Now this report further details how driverless cars and electrical cars will cause the oil prices to skyrocket because uh, people are switching to electrical things and then the money that the oil people were making is not as big. I'm summarizing the article in a, in a nutshell. And so therefore, as a result, it can lead to a shift to a new world order, something they've wanted all along. They call it an international order, a human order. Uh, a lot of the times they don't even use the word new world order. But as you can see from the Economist magazine back from 1988, as you can see uh, from the 2017 when as you can see the Rothschild pulling out his bank uh, money, that right now they're pushing hardcore the new world order and wanting that global governance. But Donald Trump is really in their way. They're not liking him, and I have that report on that too. Uh, moving down a little bit, we know that right now, again, and I stated at the beginning, the United Nations is having their second 72nd General Assembly meeting. In this meeting, I'm gonna throw up the agenda on the screen number 16, specifically states that they are going to discuss at this meeting the role of the UN in promoting a new global human order new global human order. That was one of the bombshells and they've not yet gotten to that topic. I will report more on that when they start actually discussing that topic. I know Donald Trump had a lot to say in his opening speech. Uh, and uh, if you guys got a chance to watch that, great. He had a lot to, to say about North Korea. But one of the things that he said is he's sick and tired of all, uh, you know, everybody not being equal and fair as far as America paying a little more. And uh, I agree with him 100%. We don't need to foot the bill, but footing the bill um, the U.S. footing the bill is exactly what the United Nations wants. All right, moving on to another article. This is on chronicle.co and it's titled, Can BRICS Bring About a New World Order? Now, this report goes on to detail how they want to close the gap between the rich and the poor. When I say that the UN wants to close that gap, well, that's exactly what they're talking about. In other words, let's make us all poor because that's what it's about. And so they ponder the idea of stealing from the rich Americans and giving to the poorer countries, something that Barack Obama promised and, and tried to do avidly. And something, by the way, that Donald Trump is doing the opposite of. Obama did one thing, he, he tried to take money from America, make us poorer, that's the truth. It's an ugly truth, but it's a truth. And giving it to other countries. Look, we made ourselves where we are. I wanna keep that money here. I don't want everybody to be socialism when we all share. Screw socialism, it means nothing. It has nothing to do with anything and it's nothing but a, a jumping point to communism. But that's what the UN wants. They want communism and they want control because with communism, with socialism comes ultimate control of the governing body. And I say, take it on your own. And uh, yeah, I have a lot more to say to that, but that's it. This is what the new world order will bring, a communist style, regime style, taking from the rich, moving uh, to a poor, uh, but not even a good thing. It's going to make us all poor. That's the ultimate agenda of the new world order, as you can see just in news reports. Here's another report I wanted to show you, and this one's on the DetroitNews.com. Where's the new world order? And this is put out September 10th. 2017, they're asking, are they coming? When are they gonna be here? What's it going to look like? These kinds of questions. Uh, this is from the Detroit News. Here's another. Uh, this is from the HuffPost.com, another mainstream sicko media site. September 14th, 2017, put out just the other day, and it's titled, An Escalation Proof U.S. Foreign Policy is a Magna Carter for a New World Order? Question mark. So what are they proposing there, Mr. Huff Post? We know that Huffington Post, we know New York Times, we know CM, MMS Embassy, ABC, CNN, all of them, they want a new world order. They hate Donald Trump because he's a nationalist and because he's a patriot. Here's just more documentation to prove that we are on that path. Uh, but with that one last thing, I said that that um, I honestly believe that they that that Trump is 
not for the new world order. Here's the Bloomberg report.com from Bloomberg.com that kind of proves that point. And they say the new world order is leaving the United States behind. Hell yeah. Get the hell out of the U S UN. That's what I say. Uh, <laughs> I drove past a sign the other day that had that. It was awesome. I was so happy. Uh, but that aside, I mean, here's a report that says they're going to leave the U S behind. Well, what was the reason? If you read through the detail, it talks about Angela Merkel's relationship with Donald Trump and how Donald Trump doesn't want a new world order. And I say, hell yeah to that. Neither do I. Ergo, the reason that I wanted to do this tape to show you where we were in 1988 with the top economist cover, uh, or the new economist, uh, magazine, the economist <laughs> magazine cover to where we are today, showing their prediction for a one world currency and a new world order and where it sits now and how the Rothschilds banker is pulling out his money, attempting to get us to that goal, how we have all these United nation events and all these other events trying to push at that, at that new world order goal. And we also have people standing against it like hopefully Donald Trump continues to do. Anyhow, please share this far and wide, get it out to everyone. And also please don't forget to check out my partner at noblegold.com. Look, if you're not invested with gold and silver, especially when they're planning things like a one world order and a one world currency, you're gonna be left behind. Get precious metals, get gold, get silver. Call noblegoldinvestments.com. There's a number on the screen you guys can call. Let them know you heard it on Lisa Haven. And there's also links below, but make sure you are ready with that. I love you guys. And my heart is that you're as prepared as, as, as I am. And just believe wholeheartedly that that's what you can do. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning into my channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.